This video tutorial is going to show you how to use your Studio Devil uh, guitar amp modeling plugins with Pro Tools LE on the Mac. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have um, some Digit Design hardware plugged in because Pro Tools LE will only work with um, Digit Design hardware. Um, we're going to be using a Digit Design M box. Um, for this video tutorial. You want to make sure that's plugged in and powered on and that your guitar and speakers are connected and everything's ready to go. Um, you also want to make sure that you have the volume knob on your guitar turned up um, so that if you're not hearing any signal at least you know it's not something silly like that. Okay so um, to get started we are going to um, first launch um, Pro Tools LE. I just want to note that if you have uh, a version of Pro Tools like Empowered, um, it's pretty much the same thing. You just have to make sure that you have your um, M Audio approved device connected in order for that to run. So um, you can launch Pro Tools LE from the dock if you already have it there. So we're going to get that started. Um, if you don't have um, Pro Tools LE on the dock, you can get it by going to the Finder and then going to um, Applications and then scrolling down to DigiDesign inside which you'll find um, Pro Tools and then you'll be able to um, start Pro Tools from there. Um, but we have it on the dock so um, we're going to use it um, uh, basically from there. Uh, okay, so um, the first thing we want to do is we want to create a blank session. So we're going to click OK and we're going to give it a name. In this case it will be Studio Devil Pro Tools LE and uh, we'll put that on the desktop save. Okay great, so here we are, we have a Pro Tools LE session set up and ready to go. Um, the first thing uh, we want to do is we want to go to um, Setup, Hardware, and we want to make sure that the device that we're using is selected. And um, we are using a DigiDesign MBOX 2 Mini um, for this demo. Uh, so you want to make sure whatever hardware you're, you're using is selected there. Uh, sampling rate of 44.1 is, is fine. Um, we then we want to go want to go to setup um, playback engine. Click on that, and this is where we can set the buffer size, which controls the latency. Um, we want to keep the latency as low as possible, but um, the lower you make it, the more processing it takes. A good number, uh, a good balance is um, like 128 samples, and if you have a really fast system, you can go to 64 samples. But 128 samples is at 44.1 is is definitely fine for playing guitar. So we're going to make sure that that's selected, and then we're going to click OK. OK, great. Um, now what we need to do is we need to insert a track. So we're going to go to Track, and we're going to click on New. And uh, for this demo, we'll use a mono track. You can also create a stereo track if you want. Now the way that works with Studio Devil is that Studio Devil is a mono effect uh, when it comes to the guitar amp modeling, because guitar amps are mono. But then the post-processing, like the effects on some of our plugins, like VGA2 and Amp Modeler Pro are in stereo. And if you pick a mono track, then you'll have a mono effect and, and a mono amp modeling. Um, if you pick a stereo track, then the two inputs will be summed together. That will feed the guitar amp, and then that'll feed the stereo effects that will come in stereo. We're going to keep it on mono for now because most guitar tracks are mono, and, uh, and that just keeps things easier. So we'll click Create. So now we have a track. Next thing we want to do is we want to click on this record enable button and make sure that we have some kind of signal coming through our system. Okay, great. You see as I strum the guitar we're getting um, not only sound through um, Pro Tools and through our speakers but also we're seeing a nice healthy level here that doesn't clip when we strum kind of hard so that's good. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to pull up um, the mix window uh, so we can go to um, window and then pull up mix and make sure that we have the new track that we created selected and then what we can do in this window is we can go here to where we're going to insert a plugin so we'll click on the space here we'll drag down the plugin and the studio double plugins are under the harmonic category um, because it's a distortion effect that generates harmonics and for this demo we'll, we'll choose studio double VGA2 in mono and that automatically pulls up the um, Studio Devil plugin, the graphical uh, user interface editor, and let's see if that's working. Well, great, that's it. Um, pretty much 
that's all you need to do to get um, Studio Double uh, guitar amp modeling plugins working with your Pro Tools LE system on the Mac. Um, so let's uh, review um, the steps that we took. Um, we created a, uh, a new blank project. We uh, inserted a, a new track. Uh, we hit the record enable. Um, we then went to the uh, window, the mix window, and inserted an effect. And the effect was located um, in the uh, under plugin harmonic category. Great. Uh, so now what we can do is we can close this project. We can exit Pro Tools. We can save the project so that now when we want to use it again, um, we have all of our settings already saved in this um, Pro Tools LE file. So uh, thanks for watching this demo on how to get your Studio Double virtual uh, guitar amp modeling plugins working with your Pro Tools LE system on the Mac. Again, this is very similar to what you would do in a Pro Tools uh, or a Pro Tools empowered um, system. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit studiodevil.com uh, for the latest releases on our um, vacuum tube modeling and guitar amp modeling plugins. Thanks.